Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are diving into the world of search analytics with an open source solution that's gaining a lot of star attraction. That is nothing but open search. If you are looking for a powerful tool to handle search and data analytics, stick around because open search might be just what you need. What is open search is? Open search is an open source search and analytics suits born from a fork of Elasticsearch. It was developed by AWS and offers a powerful, scalable and flexible solution for searching and analyzing data. Whether you are dealing with log data, full text speech or complex analytics, OpenSearch can handle it. So without wasting time, we will log into AWS console and I will show you how you can configure AWS OpenSearch service. So let me configure my AWS OpenSearch. So I logged into AWS console here and I will search for open search. Here you have to create the domain. So let me click create it. So right now you can see there is nothing is there. So create domain and I will keep name as Delta Frog. If you go for easy create, then it will create quickly, but internally it will run multi AZ and some other by default configurations. If you see here, we have to use three AZ and uh, data node should, will be 6, R6G and this 6, 300 GB. So, uh, and also the two active node and one standby node. So here we are doing it for for our practice purpose and we have to explore the open source. So we don't need this much configurations. And if you configure with the EG create, it may terminate your three tiers and uh, it will cost you. So if you go here, Right now, my billing is zero. So I'm I'm telling you with the minimal cost, how we can learn open search using AWS. So for that purpose, we have to choose standard create and here we'll go for dev and test and uh, domain with standby. No, I, I don't need domain with standby. I just need one AZ, okay, one ability zone. So it will, it will uh, Suppress our charge. It will not. It will not costly. So what happened is open search is free. Open search service is free, but internally, what and all the services you are using it for AWS uh, maintaining purpose or running the uh, open search that will incur the cost. So internally, how the how AWS costing prices work is they have given you okay you are you you can use free open search but where you will use free open search you have to use their aws uh, cluster aws infrastructure to host the open search so for the hosting the open search in aws infrastructure you have to pay so we are just here to learn it and we are just doing the poc here so we are not running the company so I will tell, I will suggest you when you are doing it, you are doing it for your purpose. You select only one AZ, okay. And version let it be latest. And instance family search for T2 in general purpose, okay. And in the general purpose, you will get small, okay. Just choose this one because this is less costly, okay. And here the node three node and all okay, that is fine so reduce the node to one okay and EBS that is fine general purpose okay and then here 100 GB why you need 100 GB just take 11 GB because minimum is 10 GB or you take 20 GB 15 GB fine okay total input output let it be default or you this also you can this is minimum only okay so enable endpoint that i don't need this is vpc access so vpc uh, is recommended but uh, i will go for public access okay and then you can go for ipv dual stack or ipv4 anything is fine okay now how you want to access your open search cluster from outside so you, you will go for im air master user or you want to, to use a username and password so i'll go for username and password 
and I'll create the username. I'll give username as Sumit and password I will not tell you. Okay, you can keep remember because this password only you have to log in using you have to log in with using this password. And this and all things uh, is fine, link to be default. Enable natural query. I will show you these things, so let it be. Only I will select only use fine grand access control. Okay. And this key is uh, AWS on key. I don't want to create any KMS key and all. So let it be 10 minute. Okay. And if you open here, tag and is important, but uh, for project, if you, are, if you are working in uh, some real time project, then it's required. But right now, it's optional, leave it. Okay, catch it. Then this and all things are fine. Okay. Then after that, create domain it will take some time you can see domain processing status is creating configuration change status this is also initializing once it will create I will come back and uh, we will log into open search dashboard so now you can see this is active let me refresh it it took around 15 to 20 minutes so everything is completed. Now this is open the dashboard URL. This dual stack. Let me click it here. So dashboard is open. It is loading the open set dashboard. Remember the username password. My username is Sumit. So if you are getting error while blogging or sometime if you feel that your URL is not opening, you can go to in the cluster setting and uh, you can go to security actually there is some I am role here okay here you can see here with, whether it is deny or allow if it is deny make it allow okay because first time when I did it it was not working for me this is the second time I'm creating the cluster for testing purpose I created before so that time it was by default deny was there but again del deleted and again created here so it was uh, taking the allow only so that's why I'm just telling you if you are facing issue while opening the URL you can come here and uh, make it um, 